We're breaking down the three worst and four best Mazda engine families ever built. Let's dive into the engines you should avoid and the ones you should seek out. Starting with our worst engines, let's talk about the 13B REW, what I call the twin turbo legend. This 1.3 liter twin turbo rotary powered the iconic RX-7 FD from 1992 to 2002. On paper, it sounds amazing. 252 to 276 horsepower from just 1.3 liters with sequential twin turbos. But here's the brutal truth. This engine demands religious maintenance that would make a monk jealous. The rotary design means it literally injects oil into the combustion chamber by design. Skip an oil change or let it run low, and you're looking at a complete rebuild. The cooling system must be absolutely perfect. Any overheating will warp the rotors. Those sequential turbos, they're complex and expensive when they fail. The vacuum system has more lines than a New York subway map, and they all love to crack with age. Most owners report needing major work between 120,000 to 180,000 miles, even with meticulous care. When it works, it's pure magic, but maintaining one is like dating a supermodel who's also a drama queen. Speaking of heartbreak, wait until you hear about the Rotary Heartbreaker. The 13B MSP, or as I call it, the Rotary Heartbreaker, powered the RX-8 from 2004 to 2011. This 1 1.3 liter naturally aspirated rotary made 211 to 235 horsepower and promised to be more reliable than its predecessor. Instead, it became one of the most notorious engines on multiple worst engine lists. The rotary heartbreaker suffers from premature apex seal wear that leads to catastrophic compression loss. Emissions regulations forced Mazda to reduce the oil injection system, which starved critical components. Most engines start showing serious problems around 60,000 to 120,000 miles. The telltale signs are hard hot starts, flooding, and eventually the engine won't start at all. A compression test will reveal the bad news. Usually one or more rotors are toast. The fix? A complete engine rebuild that costs more than the car is worth. Many RX-8 owners fell in love with the chassis but learned to hate the engine. Now let's move to the MZR family and meet the Speed Devil. The MZR 2.3 DISI Turbo, which I call the Speed Devil in Surgeon's Bill, powered the Mazda Speed 3 and Mazda Speed 6 from 2006 to 2012. This 2.3 liter direct injection Turbo 4 made 244 to 263 horsepower and 280 to 310 pound feet of torque. It was fast, fun, and absolutely brutal on your wallet when things went wrong. The direct injection system runs at extremely high pressures, and when components fail, they fail expensively. The turbo bearings are sensitive to oil quality. Skip changes and you'll need a new turbo. Oil starvation issues plague these engines, especially during hard cornering or acceleration. The high pressure fuel pump is another expensive failure point that can leave you stranded. Ring coking is common, leading to oil consumption and eventually engine damage. These engines demand premium fuel, run regular gas, and you'll get knock and potential engine damage. Most owners report major issues between 150,000 to 200,000 miles, often requiring complete rebuilds. The performance is addictive, but the repair bills will make you question your life choices. Even worse than the Speed Devil is its naturally aspirated brother, the Thirsty Big Brother. The MZR 2.3 naturally aspirated L3 or the Thirsty Big Brother, appeared in the Mazda 6 and MPV from 2001 to 2008. This 2.3 liter four-cylinder made 160 to 165 horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque. You'd think a naturally aspirated engine would be more reliable than its turbo sibling, but you'd be wrong. The main issue is excessive oil consumption. We're talking about a quart every 2,000 miles on worn engines. Early models came with an undersized oil pan that held only 3.5 liters instead of the proper 4.7 liters. Mazda eventually updated the oil pan and dipstick, but the damage was done to the engine's reputation. The tall piston design combined with the long stroke creates excessive cylinder wall wear. When these engines start burning oil, they'll take out your catalytic converter too. The PCV system clogs easily, making the oil consumption even worse. Most engines need major work between 170,000 to 220,000 miles. It's frustrating because it's just a basic four-cylinder, but it drinks oil like a drunk sailor. Now let's talk about the Skyactiv family's problem child, the Lean Diesel. The Skyactiv D2.2, which I call the Lean Diesel Handle with Care, powers the Mazda 6 and CX-5 from 2012 to present. This 2.2 liter turbo diesel makes 150 to 175 horsepower and 280 to 310 pound feet of torque. It's efficient and powerful, but it comes with some serious maintenance headaches. The biggest issue is oil dilution during diesel particulate filter, DPF regeneration cycles. When the DPF tries to clean itself, excess fuel gets injected and can end up in your oil. This diluted oil loses its protective properties and can cause catastrophic engine damage. 
Coolant system problems are also common, with some engines mixing coolant and oil. The thermal management system is complex and sensitive to driving habits. Short trips and city driving are this engine's worst enemy. It needs long highway runs to stay healthy. Many owners report issues between 180,000 to 230,000 miles, which is disappointing for a diesel. The engine requires strict oil quality standards and frequent monitoring. If you must have one, plan on shorter oil change intervals and lots of highway driving. But enough about the problem, children. Let's talk about Mazda's greatest hits. Now here's the good news. Mazda has built some absolutely bulletproof engines over the years. These power plants have earned legendary status among mechanics and enthusiasts alike. We're talking about engines that routinely hit 300,000 miles with basic maintenance. From tiny V6s to naturally aspirated workhorses, Mazda has proven they know how to build engines that last. These are the engines you should actively seek out when shopping for a used Mazda. Let's start with one of the most unique engines ever built. Our first champion is the K8 1.8 V6, which I call Tiny V6 Big Heart. This remarkable engine powered the MX-3 from 1991 to 1998 and holds a special place in automotive history. At just 1.8 liters, it's the smallest mass production V6 ever built. Despite its tiny displacement, it made around 130 horsepower and 110 pound-feet of torque. What makes this engine special isn't just its size, it's the over-engineering that went into it. Mazda built this V6 during the height of Japanese engineering excellence in the early 90s. The engine features a robust aluminum construction with excellent balance and smooth operation. It's incredibly reliable, with many examples reaching 220,000 to 260,000 miles without major issues. Compact design means it fits in tight engine bays while providing V6 smoothness. Maintenance is straightforward. Keep up with timing belt changes and cooling system service. Watch for aging intake boots and vacuum lines, plus cam oil seals that may weep on high mileage examples. The K8 proves that good things come in small packages. Now let's move to the MZR family success stories, starting with the big NA MZR. The MZR 2.5 L5V, or the big NA MZR, appeared in the Mazda 6 and Mazda 3 from 2008 to 2013. This 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder made 167 to 170 horsepower and 167 pound feet of torque. Unlike its problematic 2.3 liter sibling, the 2.5 is a solid, dependable engine. The larger displacement and revised design eliminated most of the oil consumption issues. It features a proper sized oil pan from the factory and better piston ring design. The naturally aspirated design keeps things simple and reliable. Most engines easily reach 210,000 to 250,000 miles with basic maintenance. The timing chain drive means no belt changes, just occasional tension or service. Common issues are limited to typical wear items like valve cover gaskets and sensors. The engine responds well to regular oil changes and doesn't require premium fuel. It's not the most exciting engine, but it's exactly what you want in a daily driver. Reliable, efficient, and cheap to maintain. The hallmarks of a great engine. Speaking of great engines, let's talk about the NC Tactician. The MZR 2.0 LFVE or LFF7, which I call the NC Tactician, powered the NC Miata from 2006 to 2015. This 2-liter naturally aspirated 4 made 140 to 158 horsepower and around 140 pound-feet of torque. NC Miata owners commonly call this the 200,000 mile appliance because it just keeps running. The engine features a timing chain instead of a belt, eliminating a major maintenance item. It's easy to service with good access to most components. The naturally aspirated design is simple and forgiving. Most engines reach 220,000 to 260,000 miles without major issues. Common problems are limited to valve cover gasket seepage and the occasional dirty mass airflow sensor. The engine loves regular oil changes but isn't picky about oil brands and it runs happily on regular unleaded fuel. The dual overhead cam design provides good breathing for a naturally aspirated engine. It's not the most powerful engine but it's incredibly reliable and fun to rev. Many track day enthusiasts prefer this engine over more powerful alternatives because of its bulletproof nature. Now let's talk about Mazda's diesel success story, the long haul Euro. The R2 2.2 MZRCD, or the long haul Euro, powered European Mazda 6 and CX-7 models from 2008 to 2013. This 2.2 liter turbo diesel made 148 to 180 horsepower and 280 to 310 pound feet of torque. It's widely considered Mazda's best diesel engine historically. The robust cast iron construction can handle the stresses of diesel combustion and turbocharging. European owners regularly report 240,000 to 280,000 miles with proper maintenance. The key to longevity is regular DPF and EGR system maintenance. 
This engine loves long highway runs that allow the diesel particulate filter to regenerate properly. Use low saps oil and change it regularly to keep the emission systems happy. Watch for sticky EGR valves and glow plug failures as the engine ages. The fuel system is robust and handles European diesel fuel quality well. Unlike later Skyactive diesels, this engine doesn't suffer from oil dilution issues. It's a shame this engine never made it to the US market. European Mazda 6 owners with this engine often keep their cars well past 200,000 miles. Now let's move to the Skyactiv success stories, starting with the Featherweight Finisher. The Skyactiv G1.5, or the Featherweight Finisher, powers the Mazda 2 and some CX-3 models from 2014 to present. This 1.5 liter naturally aspirated 4 makes 100 to 129 horsepower and 110 pound-feet of torque, depending on the market. Don't let the small displacement fool you. This is a sweetheart of an engine. The high compression ratio design delivers excellent thermal efficiency. It's perfectly matched to lightweight cars where it doesn't feel underpowered. Most engines easily reach 210,000 to 250,000 miles with basic care. The naturally aspirated design keeps complexity low and reliability high. Regular oil and filter changes are all this engine really needs. The timing chain eliminates belt replacement intervals. Common issues are virtually non-existent, just normal wear items. The engine is smooth and refined despite its small size. It proves that Mazda's Skyactiv technology works brilliantly in smaller applications. This engine is perfect for city driving and commuting. Now let's talk about its bigger brother, the Lean Sipper. The Skyactiv G2.0, or the Lean Sipper, powers the Mazda 3, CX-3, and ND Miata from 2011 to present. This 2.0 liter naturally aspirated 4 makes 155 to 162 horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque. It represents the perfect balance of power, efficiency, and reliability. The high compression ratio design achieves excellent thermal efficiency. Direct injection carbon buildup is less severe than many competitors thanks to clever engineering. Most engines reach 240,000 to 280,000 miles with proper maintenance. The naturally aspirated design eliminates turbo complexity and heat issues. Regular oil changes with quality synthetic oil keep this engine happy. Occasional intake cleaning helps maintain performance as miles accumulate. The timing chain design eliminates belt replacement intervals. Common issues are limited to occasional thermostat codes and minor sensor failures. It's smooth, refined, and surprisingly torquey for its size. ND Miata owners particularly love this engine for its reliability and rev-happy nature. Now let's talk about the flagship, the High Comp Workhorse. The Skyactiv G2.5 naturally aspirated inline 4, or the High Comp Workhorse, powers the CX-5, Mazda 6, Mazda 3, and CX-30 from 2012 to present. This 2.5 liter 4 makes 184 to 194 horsepower and 185 to 190 pound feet of torque. It's widely praised as one of Mazda's most reliable modern engines. The high compression ratio design achieves diesel like thermal efficiency while staying naturally aspirated and simple. Owners report fewer direct injection carbon headaches compared to competitors. Most engines easily reach 250,000 to 300,000 miles with basic maintenance. The cylinder deactivation system on some trims requires clean oil to prevent lifter wear. Regular oil changes with quality 0W20 or 5W30 synthetic oil are essential. Occasional intake cleaning helps maintain performance over time. The timing chain design eliminates belt replacement worries. Watch for occasional thermostat heater codes, but these are usually minor issues. It provides excellent torque delivery and smooth operation. This engine proves that naturally aspirated designs can still compete with turbocharged alternatives. It's the perfect daily driver engine. Reliable, efficient, and powerful enough for any situation. Now, before we reveal the top Mazda engines, let's recap what we've seen so far. So what have we gathered about Mazda's engine lineup through the years? The pattern is crystal clear. Mazda's engineering philosophy has evolved dramatically, and not all experiments were successful. Starting with our worst engines, the Rotary family tells a tale of brilliant engineering hampered by real-world practicality. The 13BREW twin-turbo legend from the FDRX7 was undeniably spectacular when it worked, but demanded maintenance that would bankrupt most owners. Its successor, the 13BMSP, the Rotary Heartbreaker in the RX8, promised better reliability, but delivered even worse problems with premature apex seal failure. Both engines prove that sometimes revolutionary technology comes with revolutionary headaches. The MZR family shows us that even conventional engines can go wrong when pushed too hard or designed with flaws. The 2.3 DISI Turbo Speed Devil Insurgents build delivered thrilling performance in the Mazda Speed models. 
but the complex direct injection and turbo systems created expensive failure points. Meanwhile, the naturally aspirated 2.3 Thirsty Big Brother suffered from basic design flaws like excessive oil consumption and undersized oil pans. Even Mazda's modern Skyactiv technology isn't immune to problems, as the Skyactiv D2.2 lean diesel proves with its oil dilution and thermal management issues. But then the story gets much better. Mazda's greatest hits far outnumber their misses. The K8 1.8 V6 Tiny V6 Big Heart represents peak Japanese over-engineering from the bubble era, creating the world's smallest production V6 that's smooth as silk and tough as nails. The MZR family redeemed itself with three outstanding engines that prove simplicity works. The 2.5 L5 VE Big NA MZR fixed all the problems of its smaller siblings, while the 2.0 LF VE NC Tactician became the go-to choice for Miata reliability. The R2 2.2 MZRCD Long Haul Euro shows that Mazda could build excellent diesels when they got the formula right. The Skyactiv G family represents Mazda's current engineering peak, with three engines that achieve remarkable efficiency without sacrificing reliability. The 1.5 featherweight finisher proves that small engines can be mighty, the 2.0 lean sipper balances power and economy perfectly, and the 2.5 high comp workhorse delivers near diesel efficiency with gasoline simplicity. What's the common thread among Mazda's best engines? They're all naturally aspirated, relatively simple designs that prioritize longevity over peak performance numbers. The worst engines share different traits. They're either overly complex, pushed beyond their design limits, or suffer from fundamental engineering flaws. The lesson here is clear. When Mazda focuses on building robust, well-engineered, naturally aspirated engines, they create legends. When they chase performance or efficiency at the expense of reliability, they create expensive problems. For buyers, this means seeking out the proven winners like the Skyactiv G family or the engine series we're revealing next while avoiding the known problem children like rotaries and complex turbocharged units. Mazda's engineering story is ultimately one of learning from mistakes and building on successes. And at the top, we need to talk about two engines that are absolute legends in the Mazda world. These engines have achieved mythical status among enthusiasts and mechanics alike. They represent the pinnacle of Mazda's engineering excellence and deserve their own spotlight. The B6 1.6 or the Starter Samurai powered the early MX-5 Miata NA6 from 1990 to 93. This 1.6-liter, naturally aspirated 4 made 115 to 116 horsepower and around 100 pound-feet of torque. It's the perfect engine for someone's first Miata experience. The b is incredibly simple, rev-happy, and extremely forgiving of neglect. It features a robust cast iron block with an aluminum head. The dual overhead cam design provides excellent breathing for its era. Most engines easily reach 275,000 to 325,000 miles with basic care. The timing belt system requires regular service, but it's straightforward and cheap. Common issues are limited to cam cover gasket seepage and occasional PCV problems. The engine loves to rev and sounds fantastic at high RPM. Parts are incredibly cheap and widely available. It's the ideal engine for learning about car maintenance and modification. Many track day enthusiasts prefer the B6 over more powerful engines because of its reliability. The lightweight design helps keep the Miata's perfect balance. This engine taught a generation of enthusiasts that horsepower isn't everything. But if you want the ultimate Miata engine, you need Miata's Anvil. The BP 1.8 or Miata's Anvil powered the MX-5 Miata NA8 and NB from 1994 to 2005. This 1.8 liter naturally aspirated 4 made 128 to 140 horsepower and 110 to 120 pound feet of torque. It's called Miata's Anvil because it's virtually indestructible. Spec Miata racers routinely hammer these engines past 200,000 miles with only consumables. Junkyard BP engines have won races, that's how bulletproof they are. The engine features an overbuilt bottom end that can handle significant abuse. Most engines reach 300,000 miles or more with basic maintenance. The timing belt system is simple and cheap to service. Common issues are limited to cam cover gasket seepage and weak coils on high mileage examples. The engine responds well to modifications and can safely handle more power. Parts are incredibly cheap and available everywhere. It's the perfect combination of reliability, performance, and affordability. Track day enthusiasts love this engine because it never lets them down. The BP has probably powered more track miles than any other four-cylinder engine. This engine is the reason why NA and NB Miatas are still so popular today. Remember, even the best engines need proper maintenance to reach their potential. This is Tom from Seats and Wheels. Thanks for watching.